Looking for the best motherboard for the Ryzen 7 5700X 3D? In this video, we've done an extensive review of the top motherboards for the Ryzen 7 5700X 3D and rated them according to VRM design, aesthetics, features, and value for money. Price information and all motherboards mentioned in the video are available in the description. So let's start. Number 3. MSI B550A Pro Best budget motherboard for Ryzen 7 5700X 3D. Not everyone out there will care about overclocking, high-end audio, etc. when it comes to a downright reliable motherboard for Ryzen CPUs. I can easily recommend the MSI B550A Pro. If you don't care about extra bells and whistles, then this motherboard might just fit your needs. It's definitely quite hard to ignore for the price. The design of this board is not something that truly stands out, but it manages to get the basics right. It uses an all-black PCB with black aluminum heat sinks. The heat sink is decent in terms of size and has MSI branding over it. The board also includes an M2 shield for PCIe Gen 4 SSDs, while the design, other than that, is quite simple. It gets the fundamentals and layout down perfectly. Like other X570 and B550 options, this one also includes a flash BIOS button. It's a great feature to have on a cheaper motherboard. There's no need for a processor to be physically present in order to update the BIOS. On top of that, the core boost technology makes sure that the power delivery is reliable and robust. MSI claims that this board uses a 10 plus 2 phase design for power delivery. In reality, it uses 5 phases with 2 power stages in each phase. This means you can't heavily overclock or tweak the 5700X 3D to your liking. However, you're getting dual M2 slots with PCIe 4.0, fast memory support, and reliability all at a cheaper price tag. If you don't mind the aesthetics, it's a great board to get in terms of reliability, especially on a budget. Number 2. Gigabyte X570S Aorus Elite AX Best Premium Motherboard for Ryzen 7 5700X 3D It shouldn't come as a big surprise that I wholeheartedly recommend the X570S version. This is an all-rounder motherboard that nails the basics, but also includes a few bells and whistles. The board uses the X570S chipset, which is slightly different from X570. AMD motherboards with an X570S chipset use passive cooling, meaning there's no need for a physical fan for cooling. This is great to see, as chipset fans can introduce coil wine in PCs. So, in terms of looks, this board uses an understated and sleek design scheme. The rear I.O. panel is quite large and has the Aorus Eagle logo embossed on top of it. You can see some pretty hefty VRM heatsinks around the CPU socket as well. Other than that, everything on this motherboard is black, except for the audio chips. The subtle RGB on the right side of the board also adds a soft glow inside your PC case. This is a premium motherboard, and it definitely looks the part. Two of the three M2 slots are protected by shield slash heatsinks, and the chipset heatsink has the Aorus branding over it. Wireless networking is also a great addition to this motherboard. It supports the Wi-Fi 6 standard, Bluetooth 5.2, and of course comes with a 2.5 gigabit LAN port. The motherboard is also impressive in terms of performance. Gigabyte has done an excellent job with the power delivery and VRM configuration here. You get 12 plus 2 power phases rated at 60 amps. This means you're getting a lot of clean power throughput, allowing you to overclock the CPU with ease. So, in terms of performance, we have no complaints here. Memory-wise, you're getting the standard 4 DIMM slots with support for up to 128 gigs of RAM. You can easily overclock the memory to up to 5400 MHz. Of course, you need a good memory kit that can run at those speeds in a stable setting. Storage-wise, you have access to 3 PCIe Gen 4 M2 slots and 6 SATA 6 gigabits per second ports. The motherboard is also excellent in terms of audio quality and is complemented by a Sabre DAC chip. 
Other creature comforts include a clear CMOS button, BIOS flashback, plenty of USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports on the back, and of course a Type-C port. Compared to other options, the Gigabyte X570S Aorus Elite AX is a great choice for anyone looking for a balanced motherboard that offers both style and substance. There's also an X570 version, but you'll likely want to go for this one because of the newer wireless networking standard, passive cooling, and other new features. Of course, there are a lot of other great X570 options that you could go with. For example, the ASRock X570S Riptide is a close competitor in terms of value and performance. However, this Gigabyte board has a better VRM configuration, better overclocking, and more bells and whistles. The only downside is the fact that Gigabyte's RGB Fusion software can be a bit buggy. Once it works, it's fine, but users have reported issues from time to time. Fortunately, the open source open RGB software can help fix this. Apart from that, it's an excellent motherboard and a great choice for the Ryzen 7 5700X 3D. Number 1. Asus Tough Gaming X570 Plus Wi-Fi are top choice. X570 and value are two words that rarely go hand in hand. However, again, Asus of all manufacturers has managed to pull off another incredible feat. Their tough gaming lineup is a viable alternative to their more popular, and more expensive, Strix lineup of motherboards. Ditching some of the extra bells and whistles, the Tough Gaming X570 Plus Wi-Fi focuses on pure value, making it ideal to pair with the Ryzen 7 5700X 3D. Design-wise, the Tough lineup is very unlike the ROG series. Instead of the all-black theme, we get a black and yellow combination here. In theory, that sounds a bit tacky, but with the subtle implementation here, it works well. The logo reminds you of something you'd see in Call of Duty or Battlefield back in the day. This logo can be seen on the rear panel cover, PCB, and chipset heatsink. Apart from that, it's using a 12 plus 2 power delivery system that works well on the X570 platform. You get Asus's incredible BIOS functionality and Aura Sync support, both of which are features loved by many. You also get 802.11 AC Wi-Fi, Realtek S1200A audio, Wi-Fi and Gigabit Ethernet. All of these are premium components, and you don't need to shell out a ridiculous amount of cash here either. That's where the beauty of this motherboard lies. While you only get two M2 slots and it lacks front panel USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports, it makes up for it with its excellent value. Not to mention, you get access to Aura Sync, which is one of the best controllable RGB platforms out there on the market. For an X570 board, the Asus Tough Gaming drives quite a decent bargain, making it the perfect motherboard for the Ryzen 7 5700X 3D. So, what do you think? Which of these is the best motherboard for the Ryzen 7 5700X 3D for you? Or do you think another motherboard is better? Tell us in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Have an awesome day.